Yes, the survey is called the Pampa Transportation Improvement Survey. And we're really looking for comments from the public as to what they think the weaknesses of the transportation system are in Fredericksburg, Spotsylvania and Stafford. And if you think that the roadways are congested, tell us, tell us where they're congested. If you think that the buses are not uh, serving you the way that they should, tell us about that. Um, if, if you think we need a new bus route, where would you like that uh, bus route to be? If you think we need a new uh, crossing over the I-95, tell us about that. We're interested in the public's comment. And so we've created the survey, um, the FAMPA Transportation Improvement Survey, to ask people their opinions so that we can plan better as an institution. Sounds like you're looking for specifics too. Yeah, we're asking specifically, um, uh, you know, where do, where do you have difficulty accessing a location? Is it difficult to get to Central Park from where you live? Is it difficult to get to work in DC from where you live? Yeah. Is it difficult to get to work in downtown Fredericksburg or in Spotsylvania at the courthouse? Where, where is it that you work and do you find difficulty getting there? Um, would you like you know, the trains to be more frequent? Um, are the ticket prices of the buses too high? Or, you know, we, we're looking for specific details. It's not a tell us out of five how angry you are. It's a give yeah. us some details because we want to improve planning for roadways, buses, trains, the whole transportation system. I, that's what's kind of exciting about this because I, in, in, in the past it's been just very broad and in, in, in general, but, but you do want to know specifics so where you can jump in and maybe make some changes. Absolutely. Um, we may out of this want to recommend to the FAMPO Policy Committee it's time to build a new bridge. Um, or we may want to um, suggest to uh, Fred Transit that a new bus route will serve us well if we put it in this particular area. So I could see the survey leading to specific improvements. Um, as you know, building infrastructure takes a long time, yeah. so they don't always happen next year, but we certainly want to plan and we have many different transportation plans that we're currently working on. So this information will be very useful to put into those plans and then seek funding to build the new infrastructure that's needed. And, and the other exciting thing is there, there are options out there and there are things that you, you, you as, as you see some of these shortcomings, there are some things that can be done. Sure, I mean, we've asked the public to comment on if they want improved transit, what kind of transit? Do they want a better bus? Do they want a bus yeah. rapid transit system? Do they want more commuter rail trains or, or lines, routes? Do they want a light rail tram for, for Fredericksburg? What, what is it that the public wants? And um, uh, there are options. And for example, if we find an area where it's difficult to access, well, we need to think how can we improve the access? Do we need to build a new road? Do we need to widen the road? Do we need to build another bridge over a highway? There are multiple options, and it's it's very interesting to hear what the public is saying. Uh, one lady commented that, well, I don't know if it was a lady, it could have been a gentleman because it's anonymized, but one person commented that at a certain point, it's very difficult to cross the I-95, and we probably need a new bridge. Um, now, that's a very specific uh, yeah. suggestion from, from the public, and we take this thing seriously because obviously there's a problem at a certain point crossing the I-95 and we want to be mindful of that. So um, we're very interested in those kind of comments. How do I take this survey? Because there are only a couple weeks left. Sure, so the FAMPO website has got the survey on. I believe that um, this radio station has posted the link mm -hmm. on their website. So you just click on the link and it asks you a bunch of questions. And uh, one of those questions will be, give us a rough idea, put a dot on the map, roughly the neighborhood that you live in and put a dot on the map roughly at the neighborhood where you work so that we can relate your mm. answers to a location. So if you say it's difficult to get to this area, we want to know from where. So you put a dot on the map showing the rough neighborhood where you live. We don't want your address. We just want a rough dot. Yeah. Um, so that we can link that to where you say it's difficult to access. So if you go to the radio station website and you can click on the link or you go to the FAMPO, F-A-M-P-O, the FAMPO website, and you click on the link, 
uh, it'll take you to the survey. You can fill in the questions. We don't ask your name. We don't ask your physical address because it's anonymous and uh, you can fill that survey in there. Well, Ian, what I find exciting about this is for the first time that I can remember, I mean, there, there really is, you've got a plan and it's more of, it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, this is way more specific than just, just the generalized, you know, how mad, like you said, how, how, you know, how mad are you about, about traffic? Yes. This is way different than that. Yes, I think we've, we've, we've gone to a lot more trouble this time to think carefully through the questions that we're asking. Um, I did a similar study in uh, Boston and Massachusetts. And one of the things we found out as a result of this kind of study is that the commuter rail train tickets were too expensive. The subway train tickets in Boston were not too expensive. Hmm. And the commuter rail trains were too expensive, but we could only see that when we made a map of the answers people gave us in the survey, because that shows you where people are concerned about the ticket prices and in what neighborhoods they're not. And you match that up with the train lines and the subway lines and the bus lines, and you could quickly tell where the problem is, which isn't done very often in the country. It's a new concept to do that, to actually map the answers to say ticket price questions. Yeah. Because you can tell them how that relates to the transportation system. And in this case as well, we're going to try and map the answers so that we can tell where people are concerned about access to Central Park, not just kind of having to guess, we can actually map those answers. And mapping those answers is very, very instructive and very useful because it tells you more than just, ah, oh, the roads are terrible or there's congestion. Well, everybody knows we that know that are terrible and that there's congestion, but where? Yeah. And where can't you get to? You know, where do you struggle to get in your car, in the bus, in the train, in the, you know, if you go on a, a carpool or a van pool, you know, where is it difficult to get to? And uh, this survey, hopefully, and, and I mean, already it's, it's, it's proving successful. We've had over 600 responses and it is currently the most responses that FAMPO has got in a survey in many years. So it is obviously catching the attention of the public. They're super excited about it because the survey is getting to a lot of people and we're getting hundreds and hundreds of responses. So it's a super successful survey and we don't want anyone to be left out. So please, please fill in the survey and tell us what you think, what the problems are. Who knows? I mean, there, there could be a situation where it's, it's some smaller things. It's some, somebody looks at this, a locality looks at this, this and says, you know what, if we just put a turn lane there, or yes. if we extend a turn lane, maybe we can help the situation. So you never know. Correct. In some cases, small changes can produce big results. Uh, one of the things that I think needs to be done, and, and I'm not filling in the survey, but one of the things I think needs to be done is we need crosswalks or methods of getting people across Route 3, Blank Road, etc. Um, it's a big shopping district yeah. out, out uh, uh, near uh, Central Park in the Spotsylvania uh, Town Centre. How do you cross uh, Route 3? It's very difficult if you're yeah. on foot or on a bicycle to cross. So you have to have a car. If you don't have a car, you can't really yeah. cross the road and that's dangerous. And there was an accident recently where a woman was, I think, badly injured or killed, in fact, mm -hmm. on that road. Yep. And so that, for example, is one thing that somebody might write and say, hey, we need crosswalks or we need uh, uh, traffic light signalization so that the traffic stops and I can walk across, right? So, so those are kinds of things that people might want to comment on and say, hey, I saw this thing and it's not an expensive fix to paint a crosswalk on the road and put a put a, a signal uh, onto an existing traffic light, it's not expensive. It, it doesn't take a you know yeah. five year plan. Yeah. You can do it fairly quickly. You can do it in a couple of months if you've got the funding. So, so some things like that are quick, easy fixes, but we need to know where they are. And there are opportunities for people to write those comments. Go to the FAMPO website, take care of this do it right today and, and, and don't get left out. Yeah, make sure that your comments are included so that uh, you, you know every, every problem is identified and solutions. You might come up with some clever solutions and uh, we'll be able to hear those too. Go and take the survey.